Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. So today I got Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and I have already flashed the extreme ROM One UI 7 on this mobile phone. Let me show the about phone. So the model number that I got is actually Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and 985F. But here on my mobile phone, it is S25 Ultra. We'll tap the software information. The ROM is ported from the S25 Ultra. So this is One UI 7, Android 15, and base band is provided. Build number this one, right? Thanks to the developer who is doing hard work and his team porting the ROM. Now those who want to know how the One UI 7 working on the mobile phone, because this One UI 7 can be flashed on S10 family, S20 family and Note 20 family but must be Exynos chipset. This is not for the Snapdragon. I already uploaded a video how the One UI 7 is working on the S10 Plus and the same ROM, same thing, same bugs also Note 20 Ultra have. Now if you want to know how the ROM is working, I will provide that video link in my video description. Watch the video to know about the ROM and then you can decide you want to flash or not so i was getting a request to make a tutorial video how to flash the one ui 7 on door 20 ultra but from the scratch here i would like to share some information about the patch rooted mobile phone or cpid uh, mobile phone those who have a patch rooted mobile phone if you flash the custom rom the the mobile date network will not ever work with the custom rom and those who have a cpid mobile phone yes they can flash the custom custom rom the mobile network will be work this rom is pre-rooted it is coming with the kernel su next do not forget to like the video if you haven't must subscribe my channel yet then just tap the subscribe button thank you so much so here is the list provided by the developer and his team currently which are not working on the different model number of mobile phone you can read and you can check it out what are the bugs that currently this rom have but I will say that we can use this ROM as a daily driver. Now let me show how to download the ROM. Well, after clicking this link, this uh, server or website will get open. You can come here and uh, the files are provided on this server, but we have to copy the password from here. So copy this password from here because I'm going to flash the Note 20 Ultra, so I will click on this link. And uh, when this uh, page open, then erase the password that is that is already there and uh, paste the new password that I just copied from uh, there from the website by pressing the Control V and then click the unlock. So here are the categorized folders. Well, Odin Pack requires. So first of all, click the Odin Pack folder and I will go for the Note 20. Two files available. One is for N980F and N981B, the TWRP Odin Pack. And the other one is N98F, N986B. Well, you need to check the model number that you have. I have Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So I will go for this one, 985F. This is Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and the above one is Galaxy Note 20. So click this link and if you have 985F or N986B. After downloading this one, go back. Once again, go back, then click the ROMs folder and I will go for the Note 20 folder. And once again, two files provided. One is for the Galaxy Note 20 and other one is for the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. How to find out? You need to go for the code name. Note 20 Ultra code name is C2S and the above one, I hope so that this one is for the Note 20. So I will go for the Note 20 Ultra because I have the Note 20 Ultra. C2S, this file I'm going to download and the Odin file link already provided in my video description. And one more thing, if you are not having Android, Samsung Android USB driver installed on your Windows, uh, download the Samsung Android USB driver also and install it on your Windows in case if you are not having it. So first of all, extract the Odin. 
then open the extracted folder of the Odin and double click the Odin to open it. Click OK on this pop up window and Odin. Click any slot. I will go for the AP slot. Then I will go to my downloaded folder and I will select the Odin pack file that I have downloaded by double clicking on it. Just check the extension is .tar. Double click to select the file. Coming back towards the mobile phone. Well, I have flashed the stock firmware back on the mobile phone. I will go to settings. Then I will go to about phone. So this is the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Model number that I got is N985F Oblique DS. We'll tap the software information. The current ROM that I have on my Note 20 Ultra is the stock last stock firmware which is one ui version 5.21 android 13 and uh, the build number that i have is uh, actually because uh, the lines are so irritating i cannot even read the last digit anyway this is the last stock firmware that i got on my mobile phone one ui 5.21 we have to connect internet on the mobile phone currently my mobile phone is connected with my wi-fi and then on settings Tap software update, check the software update by download and install to see if uh, is uh, the mobile phone having any updates and it is, if in case it shows then update the mobile phone. Then go to about phone once again, go to software information and tap the build number for 7 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So developer mode will turn on and we'll go back to settings and then scroll down, open the developer options and uh, you will see OEM unlocking will be here. So turn it on. We have to turn on the OEM unlocking for unlocking bootloader. And this thing will also make the KG state checking on the Odin mode screen, right? Now, you need to check the mobile phone battery. It must be charged and uh, save all the internal storage data otherwise the data will get formatted and turn off the lock screen by selecting swipe and go to accounts backup manage accounts in case if you are having samsung account must remove it google account sync it must remove it to avoid issues later on now i can power off the mobile phone so use a good quality of data cable for the data transferring for uh, charging the mobile phone and for flashing you need to check the other side of the cable must be connected with computer now we have to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode so the mobile phone is supposed to be power off then press and hold the volume up key volume down key and connect the cable with the mobile phone in few seconds, the mobile phone will show warning screen, release both keys immediately. On the warning screen, you can read that uh, long press volume up key for unlocking bootloader. So press the volume up key for little long. The other another screen will get appears and release the volume up key. And this screen also showing that volume up key for yes, volume down key for cancel. So we I have to unlock the bootloader. So I will press the volume up key once. But let me tell you that after pressing the volume up key, the mobile phone will get a restart like after two or three seconds when it uh, the when the mobile phone bootloader gets unlocked. And after restarting, the mobile phone will straight away start booting to the stock firmware. So I will not let my mobile phone to boot into stock firmware. I will immediately make my mobile phone to boot into warning screen once again, right? Pressing the volume up key and then now press both keys once again. The warning screen get appears once again and now press the volume up key to boot the phone into Odin mode. So the Odin mode screen must show KG state checking. If it shows pre-normal, the recovery will never get flash, right? So the phone is ready to get the Odin pack file and it is connected already with the computer. And Odin detected the mobile phone. This sign. Go to options, untick auto reboot, go back to log and then click start to start flashing the file. When done, when you see pass message, exit the Odin, go back to downloaded folder and coming back towards the mobile phone. Well, the mobile phone still booted into Odin mode because I untick the auto reboot. 
we have to boot the phone into TWRP from the Odin mode. Press and hold the volume up key, volume down key and power key. But see the cable must be connected. Do not disconnect the cable. Well, press all the three keys at same time. When mobile phone restart, then release the volume down key first. Okay. And then when you see Samsung logo, then release the power key. But do not release the volume up keys. I have released the power key. Now, after five seconds, I will release the volume up key. The phone will boot into Ordin or sorry, TWRP. Well, the mobile phone will automatically restart doing some erasing thing because the mobile phone was having stock firmware. It was having a lock bootloader. That is why if your mobile phone was on the stock firmware before flashing any custom ROM, so this thing will not be coming like the currently uh, my mobile phone is showing but the mobile phone will restart and then finally it will boot into twrp once again so finally the team one recovery got appears on my mobile phone so i will tap the install button to see the storage encrypted or decrypted i cannot see any folders also the internal storage get appears on the computer screen but it is not proper format so the storage is encrypted i have to decrypt the storage so on the main screen tap wipe tap format data type y e s then tap here when done then go back once again go back then swipe to do the factory data reset then go back to main screen tab reboot and tab recovery so i got the recovery screen once again and uh, this time the internal storage will get appears with a proper format yes you can see that i can copy paste now i will go to my downloaded folder and I will copy the ROM file from my downloaded folder and I will go back to my internal storage of my mobile phone, open the internal storage and paste the file on the internal storage of the mobile phone. Well, the copying procedure will take a time. So we have to wait here and on the mobile phone screen, tap settings on the TWRP screen, then go to third menu and make the screen time out to maximum. I will make the brightness little bit high so uh, we can see the things clearly. We'll go back and now I will wait. I got the ROM file on my internal storage of my mobile phone. I am done from my computer. Disconnecting the cable first from the mobile phone when the file gets copied and uh, simply tap install. You will see the files that was just copied. Tap to select the ROM file and then swipe to start flushing it on the mobile phone. The flushing procedure will take a time. Now we have to wait here. So finally the ROM got flash and uh, script succeeded. Just uh, tap the wipe cache Dalvik over here. Swipe to doing it and when it is done then tap reboot system. Well, the mobile phone will start booting to the One UI 7 ROM very soon and the first boot will take a little time. After using the custom ROM, if you like to go back to the stock firmware, you can flash the stock firmware anytime on your mobile phone according to check the model number. I have provided the tutorial video link in my video description how to flash the stock firmware back on the mobile phone and how to relock the bootloader also. Finally first boot completed and I will complete the setup screen. The S25 Ultra wallpaper will get appears after completing the setup screen. So the One UI 7 ROM uh, flash very smoothly and the Note 20 Ultra is now having One UI 7 like the ROM ported from the S25 Ultra. This is the kernel SU. This is pre-rooted ROM. We'll go to settings. Then we'll go to about phone and same page that I showed before the model number got changed. The ROM ported from the S25 Ultra. So the, the about phone screen is showing totally the things that related with the S25 Ultra. We'll tap the software information and uh, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is finally having One UI 7, Android 15. 
the google play system is for showing by first october but it can be updated and the build number right thanks to the developer who ported the one ui 7 finally for the s10 family s20 family note 20 family so we have to make the device certified what exactly we have to do let me show so i have uh, connected my mobile phone with the internet and then i log in my gmail account and i will open play store because this rom does not have any browser now i will download google chrome okay i will make some changes in display it's done okay i got the chrome browser and i will open the browser and i will search for play integrity fix clicking the first link and uh, we'll tap the three dots then we'll tap desktop site it's done and come here download the zygis next the kernel su with zygis next this one keep tapping on it and open the link in new tab and then come here to releases this one tap and download the latest one the play integrity fix whatever the version available tap on it download it and i will go to the another tab and then i will go again to the releases and i will download the latest one whatever the version available both file downloaded then i will go to open the kernel su next then i will go to modules tab install both files already downloaded first install the zygis next module tap ok done go back In tap install once again install the plain integrity fix module tap ok done and go back let me show the google play store the device is not certified right now before restarting or rebooting we have to clear the data of play services and play store go to settings then go to apps search for play first select the play services by tapping on it then tap storage and clear data clear all data delete done go back go back select play store then go to storage then tap clear data delete done right now open kernel su go to home then tap the, the arrow and tap reboot mobile phone reboot it and i will go to open the kernel su next once again to check the modules are working or not tapping the module section and i can see that both modules are working properly if you see any red lines which means that the modules are not working okay done now i will open the play store We'll tap, we'll check the play integrity or the device certified thing. C certification status unavailable. Tap check certification. Device check complete. This device is play protect certified. Got it. And you can see that device is certified now. Thank you so much for watching the video. Do not forget to like the video. Keep watching it and uh, subscribe my channel also. We'll see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.